There's been times I've made like maybe eight hundred dollars in a day. Three to four thousand dollars a month. Sixty dollars to haul off a TV and a mattress. One more sale will hit fifty thousand. Here's exactly what I did to quickly start making five hundred dollars per day with my pickup truck before I even had a website. Today, my junk removal company profits over a million dollars a year. But when I started out, it was just me, my pickup truck, figuring out any way I could to make some extra cash. So I tested out a lot of ways to make money with my truck. Eventually, I found that these seven hustles together were making me five hundred dollars per day, often more. Number one indeed.com indeed.com how to make money with remote jobs on indeed this is one of my favorite ways to find jobs i find junk removal contractors on indeed personally and send many of them over six figures a year in jobs this is a little known hack that can work amazingly when starting out i always thought that indeed.com was just for finding corporate jobs but if you type in independent contractor pickup truck you can find people and companies looking for contract-based work that you can do on the side with the pickup truck a lot of them will let you do it on your own schedule and you can just accept the jobs that you want to do. Number two is ShareTown. ShareTown. The bulk of this is coming through ShareTown. There's been times I've made like maybe $800 in a day. Three to $4,000 a month. I did another video on this side hustle specifically. I'll link to that video down below. People are making anywhere from three to $4,000 per month on the side through ShareTown. What ShareTown does, they send you jobs to pick up mattress returns from online mattress companies. Then you sell these basically brand new mattresses on Facebook or Craigslist and split the sale price with with ShareTown. So they're sending the jobs to you. You don't need to go out and find jobs. You only need to have an SUV or a pickup truck for this one. And it's a great way to make some extra side cash. Number three, Craigslist flipping. I did a, a video on this as well. Free queen mattress. Get 50 to $100 for that. Easy. $1,800 per week flipping couches. Yeah, you can make so much money couch flipping. Here's how I make extra money selling lawnmowers. I'll link that down below. Search Craigslist for items that you can flip. In general, higher ticket items are gonna leave more room for profit. The best items to flip are things like couches, mattresses, you can fix up lawnmowers that aren't working, clean grills, resell them, furniture, electronics, baby items are very good. You wanna look for a deal where someone's selling something at lower than its value, and then you can go around and either fix it up a little bit or just turn around and flip it. Once you get used to this, it's a lot easier to start making more money, but there are some great deals out there and there's a lot of room for money to be made. Look for ones that are listed for free or very cheap and you have to be quick about getting free items because there's other people out there that are gonna snap it up real quick. But this can be a great way to make some extra money or just supplement a junk removal company. Number four, one of the best things to do is post on your local community Facebook page about your business. Now there are rules in some groups so don't be spammy, but just be real and genuine and have enthusiasm for your new business and your ability to help the people in your community with their junk. People search these groups for years to come and becoming a part of that community will naturally get you more referrals over and over and over again. I have a friend who built his handyman business strictly off of his Facebook community page. He makes over $200,000 a year now and doesn't even have a website. He just gets his business strictly off of his Facebook community. So be smart about it and use Facebook Marketplace wisely and definitely don't underestimate it because it can be a source of a lot of business when you're just starting out. Number five, join the gig economy me as they call it. The beauty of all of these gig economy companies is that you can work around your own schedule and choose the jobs that you want. So sign up for all these gig apps. Uh, I'm going to list off some of my favorites right now. Go load up. Go load up. So you don't have to go out and book your own business. Typically make between $55 and $200 and that proved to be true. They're like the Uber of junk removal. They'll send you jobs that you can accept or deny. They might require you to have a trailer as well though. So definitely look into that. TaskRabbit, GoShare. So GoShare finds local pickup trucks, cargo vans, and box trucks owners. Dolly matches you with local truck owners who are ready to do heavy lifting and moving for people. Truck It connects those in need of hauling with trucks through a uh, mobile app. Bungie, B-U-N-G-I-I, -I, similar to Uber, but for pickup trucks to help people move stuff across town. Dude, I Need a Truck offers upfront pricing within the app for people who need someone with a truck. Remember, a lot of junk you pick up on these jobs may have the ability to be resold on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace on the back end as well. I used to make an extra $1,000 to $2,000 cash per month just reselling the junk I would pick up. Take the job and they'll pay you cash up front and then try to make some money on the other side as well. Number six, get your name out there any way you know how. So tell everyone that you have a pickup truck, that you can help them move or take junk. Friends, family, neighbors are always looking for help with large items and you'll find they're eager to help you out with your new business. Then ask every friend and family member who you help to write a review on your Google My Business list. Now, this is free to set up and it's gonna be very helpful in the long run. Print out some simple flyers that say junk removal, your phone number, post them around different neighborhoods, coffee shops. You can even walk around your neighborhood with a flyer and put them on everyone's doorsteps. 
have a picture of yourself and explain on the flyer that you're a neighbor with a new business. Post ads on Craigslist. You get where I'm going. Don't be shy. Be proud of your new business and the ability to help anyone and everyone who needs a man or a woman with a pickup truck. And number seven, the first six should get you some jobs coming in. But if you find yourself with no jobs, just go drive around and look for any houses or businesses with junk outside. If you see any junk, just walk up and tell them you saw their junk that you own a junk removal company and you'd be happy to haul it away for them. This is a great way to build relationships with local businesses and people in your town. These seven tips to find jobs will eventually fill up your schedule. A full day will profit you $500 per day, often more. And once your days are full, you can begin to choose the jobs that are most profitable and drop the jobs that aren't making you money. During this startup phase, make sure you create a Google My Business listing and ask customers, friends, and family for reviews along the way. Also make a simple website. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. This will take some time for these to rank on the web, but make them sooner rather than later, and you'll be thankful that you did in the long run. The ultimate goal is to build your own brand and your own business that brings in your own jobs. I'll do another video on local SEO and best practices for how to build out a local services website down the road. I hope this gave you some ideas on how you can make some cash with your pickup truck. Really, you just want to cast a wide net, get yourself out there in as many places as possible, and just start getting jobs coming in, start getting people to know about your business, and you'll find that your business grows very fast and eventually you can hire people out and you won't even be doing the junk removal yourself but this is a great way to start if you like this info if you found it helpful please like and subscribe for more content like this and we'll see you in the next one